Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And after the amazing response that I received on the Amazon video, I thought of doing another video on placement process. And today we have with us Tanishka Gupta, who is my junior and a fellow VITN. And she has cracked off-campus internship process at a coveted organization, Goldman Sachs. And she is here with us to share her experiences and you'll get to know each and everything about the process by the end of this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So Tanishka, would you like to introduce yourself? How are you doing today? I'm doing good, Tanishka. Uh, thank you for having me here. Uh, so hi everyone, I'm Tanishka Gupta. And I've completed my third year of computer engineering uh, in the current CGPA is 8.7. And uh, I'm pursuing this from the Shrikant Institute of Technology, Pune College. And currently I'm uh, interning at uh, Goldman Sachs. That's great, that's great. And to tell our viewers more about uh, you, so both of us were part of the Google Developer Student Clubs chapter of our college. And she was also the lead for the same last year. And she's a really talented girl and, and we've been trainers and instructors for a lot of workshops together. So thanks a lot, Tanishka, for coming on my channel, for sharing your knowledge and experiences. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you all know, the applications for Goldman Sachs have already opened on 22nd July from 6 p.m. IST, and they'll be open till 15th August till 12 p.m. So if you have not filled it, then do so immediately. And the first round will be the aptitude test on August 22nd, 2021. So, Tanishka, can you tell us in brief about the aptitude test? So, uh, the first round consists of your aptitude based MCQs and you have negative marking as well. Uh, so, there are total 66 MCQs and you have got 90 minutes to attend. And uh, there, there is a negative marking of plus 5, uh, minus 2. And you have to be very cautious with it uh, because that is the game changer. Uh, so, like, they don't mention any cutoff as such for the aptitude round at least. But I remember solving around 30 to 35 questions uh, and I was very sure about the questions only then I had marked it. Uh, and uh, the sections uh, involved like uh, six to seven sections you'll have. The first section being the numerical computation, uh, then you'll have numerical reasoning, you'll have abstract reasoning, you have diagrammatic reasoning, you have comprehension and puzzles. And you might have a additional section which is a subjective uh, question answer section wherein you have to uh, write answers to two questions which are mainly behavioral based questions. Oh, okay. So the next round is the technical test, right? Which is in the first week of October. And it's, as you said, it's for the students who are shortlisted from the aptitude round. So can you tell us in brief about the technical round as well? Yes. So uh, uh, for the technical round, you have to be very, very careful about the time uh, because you have got uh, two hours, 15 minutes, but you have got five sections which are very, very lengthy. So the first section being, uh, you have your online coding questions, which you'll have two coding questions. Uh, you have to solve them in 30 minutes. In the second section, you'll have math, math that, that will be pure math-based MCQ section, and even that will consist of negative forms, if I'm not wrong. And uh, then you'll have your third section, which will uh, test you on the basis of the computer fundamentals. So that will involve questions from operating system, from searching, sorting, and um, you'll have even, I think, one or two questions from database management systems as well and uh, I think you have 20 minutes to solve these MCQs but uh, mm -hmm. they will be very lengthy so you will have to be very handy with the concept. Then the fourth section is again the competitive coding question uh, here you have a hard level question which will, so you will have this one question which will have to solve in 45 minutes so you can say that is of least for hard level mm -hmm. and then the last question the last section again this is an optional one I think uh, I had it uh, you may not have it this time. So you have your subjective section as I mentioned. So you'll have 15 minutes to solve, uh, to write answers to two behavioral questions. Mm -hmm. So this was the second uh, section uh, and the cutoff there they, they had explicitly mentioned that uh, you'll have to clear three sections out of these five and one additional uh, section which was of your GPA. So they don't mention what is your threshold for GPA but they do consider it. Uh, like, so mm -hmm. in, uh, apart from these five sections, they can consider GPA as, GPA as your uh, six section. And then uh, up, up from these six sections, you'll have to uh, clear at least five. But again, in order to qualify for the next round, which is the interview round, I think they don't just keep it that if you just clear your three sections and you're up for the interview. I think there's more to it. Even after mm -hmm. clearing the three sections, they'll check whether uh, what is the availability. For example, if 
some uh, thousand people have cleared the three section cut off but if they have availability of only some 20% seats so they will just pick up the top 20% out of those uh, thousand mm-hmm. year students okay okay i see um so like even if there's no cut off it's better to be in the top percentiles for each of the sections yeah and after this there's the interview round in the third week of october and you have definitely nailed the interviews so can you share us uh, your interview experiences like how many interviews did you have uh, like how many hr interviews how many technical interviews and the structure yeah. uh, so uh, like as i mentioned uh, goldman has one to five interviews and none of these interview rounds are any elimination round so it depends on uh, which team wants to interview you on the basis of your resume so they'll uh, pick your resume up and they'll get to know about you through the interview so i personally had two rounds of interviews as such so the first round was around uh, 20 to 30 minutes you can say mm-hmm. and uh, there then i was just asked two coding questions so the first one was number theory based and the second one was uh, based on dynamic programming so i was expected to write the code and then solve the like write the entire code and then uh, we were done with that round and then the second round uh, was of around 45 to 50 minutes there in i had a couple of questions from uh, various domains so i i just had one coding question there in it was based on string manipulation and uh, and apart from that i i had a question based on the introduction i had put up so like uh, i think i mentioned something about uh, one of my projects i guess or mm-hmm. even knowing about uh, goldman sachs i think i mentioned about some goldman sachs culture during my introduction so she okay. asked me a question on the basis of that it was not exactly hr but uh, you can say that uh, it like she was interested to know whether i was actually knowing about goldman sachs or not mm-hmm. uh, and then i was also asked a puzzle and a probability based question i think fintech companies do really Uh, focus on your math and your puzzle solving ability as mm-hmm. well. So uh, I was asked one question from uh, puzzle and uh, uh, probability. Then I was asked uh, questions on uh, database management system. Like it was more of database designing. That she gave me certain a uh, situation and she asked me how are you going to create and use them. And then there were many many follow up questions. I think this alone or uh, the question for database went up to around ten minutes or so. Like she wanted to be very sure about it whether I could be in a position to understand it or not. Mm-hmm. And then uh, then we had, then she asked me about one of my projects on my resume and 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 it was not that you just tell me about your project and then we are done. She went in and out of the project like why this why that what if I I don't allow you to use this so why are you using this technology and what if I ask you to use the other part of it so how mm-hmm. are you going to implement it. and okay. certain uh, built up features as well and and i think she also asked me from the business perspective like what is the business model you might propose for this mm-hmm. so uh, like uh, the they i think uh, goldman sachs at least they take projects and puzzles very seriously okay. in most of the interviews i that's what i've seen uh, okay. and yeah i think apart from this i just had to conceptual questions which were based on object oriented programming and uh, c++ okay so that was all about my Second interview, and I think I didn't have any HR round as such. But mm-hmm. from what experience I got from my other colleagues who were in the same lobby uh, where we were uh, waiting for our interviews, mm-hmm. so they mentioned like uh, two or three of them did have additional rounds, which was third and fourth round. But mm-hmm. uh, even then, uh, it's not not mandatory that any one of the rounds will has to be your HR round. So mm-hmm. it can be either purely technical or purely HR, or can be a mixture of both. It completely depends on the interviewer and the team you are sitting for. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, and like you gave us really good tips, like uh, prepare for the maths part or prepare probability and focus on projects. Like you should know all your projects in and out. So, like uh, another important question is that uh, how do you tackle questions that you have never seen before? Like what was your thought process or how did you approach such questions in the interviews? So, uh, Tavish, I think this is something which comes from your practice. Mm-hmm. So, the more you practice, the more you get to understand how the question has to be solved. So, what I think is, once you are very comfortable with the basics, that is your uh, data structures and algorithm. Mm-hmm. So, after that, you should keep on hitting questions on geeks for this. I think that's a very, very, very good platform. And uh, or maybe any other practice sites like Hacker Rank, you have Hacker Road, you have Elite Code, whichever mm-hmm. you feel you are comfortable with. So you should keep on practicing. It's not about getting very, very perfect with it, but it's more of how uh, comfortable and how confident you are with your understanding. 
so mm-hmm. eventually like if you keep on solving eventually you will understand how to approach any new problem that you are facing and what data structures might be used for it like what logic can be applied at least you'll get an intuition for the approach if not how to completely solve this problem i see that was a really great answer so basically you should know your basics and then after that you should try and practice more and more problems so that you develop an intuition and what were you mentioned a few names in the previous answer so what were the re- resources used by you for this uh, preparation so initially to be very honest i was very confused because if you see the syllabus of operating system dbms it's very vast and the uh, the thing was for my interview i just got four days to prepare so i was very i had to be very very particular about what i was preparing how much time i was investing in which topic so what i did was i uh, directly referred a fund the sources he curated uh, like okay. he's a senior as you know and he has curated yes. a good list of very very good resources which are very handy especially when you are you know in your those days where you will have your interview in a upcoming week or so so i referred to them and uh, i'm re- i'm very very glad i referred to them because they were actually very helpful like i didn't have to study anything extra i didn't study anything uh you know uh, which i think that they might have asked me in the interview but i didn't i just skip that topic saying okay, okay they won't ask this yeah so i think uh, you can just explore each one of them so it particularly contain the questions the most asked questions and i think there are many sites out there which contains uh, you know the top 50 asked questions in uh, of uh, operating system and all but i think the exact ones which are which are actually genuine which a person is looking for during their preparation days that has been curated by a fund so uh, that one thing and apart from that geeks for geeks of course and lead for like uh, i particularly practiced uh, the previous year questions of goldman sachs from geeks for geeks only and that that really helped me understand the level of expectations that interviewer mm-hmm. might have from me right right okay so as she said afan is a senior and he is currently working as a sd at amazon so if you haven't checked out that video yet then link is in the description and the list of materials which he has compiled for sd roles i like the link to it in the description as well so feel free to check it out uh, so moving on uh, you shared the complete comprehensive list of resources used by you so uh, about the aptitude round preparation the first round how did you prepare mm-hmm. for it the maths problems or the numerical reasoning problems so uh, for the particularly the aptitude part that is numerical reasoning and uh, the numerical computation abstract reasoning and diagrammatic reasoning for that again i had to refer to upon three sources because i think darren he had has mentioned a link uh, like that's a cheat sheet for the quantitative and qualitative rounds so that was really helpful because i i don't really have the time to sit and you know you are not actually in the flow to sit and solve the questions like you used to previous mm-hmm. so i think uh, just glancing through the uh, the formulas the logic they, they actually help you out because you have to be very very uh, cautious about the time and mm-hmm. uh, yes, i think them and for maths i had to uh, go back again and refer to our uh, J level the books we used to refer them so right. I, i just had a compendium ready so I, i i was just going through it for just revising the formulas because mm-hmm. you'll have questions right from integration to logarithms and they 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 won't be very simple ones there'll be a mixture of uh, mm-hmm. questions like uh, it, definite integration on some binomial series and also that's something which you had long back mm-hmm. so it, it takes time to revise i didn't particularly right. revise everything at this but i just went through So, uh, mm-hmm. I, like it was more of that whatever i can solve i'll solve that in the given time that's okay that's all. yeah that's a great approach and so in the next section we'll do a quick rapid fire round so that people get to know about the various uh, things at goldman sachs so you have to rate the following things out of 1 to 10 10 being the most important 1 being the least important so uh, considering this internship uh, recruitment di- drive at goldman sachs how important is gpa i can rate it 8 okay then how important are projects that is 9 okay and how important is competitive programming like solving websites like lead code hacker rank etc 10 okay and how important is your engineering branch because goldman sachs allows students from any engineering branch to apply to this uh, program that should be one because they don't really care about your branch okay that's great so like this opportunity is open for everyone so you should definitely grab it and uh, finally like what's your ctc and the internship stipend would you like to share that 
yeah so my stipend is uh, like uh, goldman has this particular structure so they do differentiate a bit between uh, iitians and non iitians so uh, be it off campus or on campus so mm-hmm. for us uh, it is 75000 per month Mm-hmm. and uh, i think iitians do have some 1 lakh plus stipend and apart from that if i talk about ctc so for our ctc is around 23 uh, lakh ctc like mm-hmm. that's what i've heard from the previous batch and for mm-hmm. iitians it is i think 30 30 plus ctc oh okay i see so definitely great packages yeah. so as she mentioned goldman sachs has on campus as well as off campus placement right another friend school friend of mine atharv chandratre who graduated as a computer science engineer from bits pilani goa campus has shared his on campus goldman sachs recruitment experience i have added the link to it in the description below so feel free to check it out as well and finally any tips for aspirants who will be applying for this year's internship drive so uh, i think whatever experience i've shared so far uh, you should take account of everything and start preparing accordingly because uh, goldman allows uh, like already this is an off campus opportunity and every branch is allowed so you know yes. you'll have a lot of competition out there the vacancies for the position are very less considering you will have competition from the om campus uh, hires as well Sure. so uh, i think uh, as such for preparation goldman gives ample time uh, to prepare for any round any round uh, and like during at least my hiring time which was in january feb uh, this year so uh, i just got four days to prepare but i think for the august drive they give one uh, month to prepare for your interview right. so i think preparing in the right manner would help you the most rather than just uh, preparing each and everything you should be very strategic in your preparation Right, right. So that was a really great answer, and and she prepared for the internship in just like four days. So you still have a lot of time, you guys who are watching this video. So definitely, it is possible. And thank you very much, Tanishka, for sharing your valuable experiences and your learnings as well as your strategies. This will definitely be helpful for all the viewers. And if you like the video, then hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please smash that subscribe button as well. If you have any other video suggestions, feel free to comment down below. And thank you very much for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.